All right, it is haul time once again. Today is the 31st of July, 2015. And uh, I have a bit of a big toy haul uh, to share with you guys. Um, let's get right to it. From the upcoming movie Inside Out, picked up a plush disgust. This is really for my wife. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat, but somebody had already given her joy. So I want, might as well try and build up her plush toy collection for her car. So I'm giving her disgust. Now the entire, uh, the cast, or the emotions, I did, decided to pick up the Tomy toys. Uh, yeah, Tomy. These are pretty expensive. I mean, for the amount of plastic they have. They were about like <clears throat> $11, something like that here in Manila. Fear, joy, anger, sadness, and disgust. Disgust was probably the most saleable. I mean, I checked a bunch of Toys R Us to, uh, stores and she was always sold out. I was able to find her and and sadness. Both of them were sold out in most of the Toys R Us I've been to. I found them at Toy Kingdom. So if you're here in Manila and you're looking for these two characters, um, you might try your luck in Toy Kingdom. So that's that. Inside out. Awesome. Put them here. Okay. Uh, some die cast hauls. I didn't want to make a separate video because it's just a small one. 10% off. I picked up the Rescue Duty 5 pack from Matchbox. Pretty neat. Uh, my wife had recently come from a trip, a business trip in Singapore, and she went to a Toys R Us there. And man, uh, you, I thought we got stuff early. They got a ton of stuff there much earlier than we did here in Manila, and she decided to pick up a couple of stuff. Um, first set she picked up for me was the retro, no, not retro, the pop culture Marvel Hot Wheels. These were like classic Marvel stuff, like Wolverine, Spider-Man, Star-Lord. I don't even know she had this kind of car. Yeah, that thing was. Ant-Man, it's so 60s, 70s artwork, man. Ant-Man and then Groot. The only one she missed out on, which obviously a lot of collectors will be after, is the 38 Dodge Airflow. I'm going to hunt that one down locally. If at all these things do come out. Maybe pick them up at Hobby Shop. Sooner or later. Okay. Um, another set of figures my wife picked up for me in Singapore were the G.I. Joe 50th anniversary, which I doubt this will come out here locally. Mo only, the only ones I've seen were offering pre-orders for this one are the Hobby Shops locally in Manila. So... I asked you to pick up the three sets I was really interested in. The Shipwreck Cobra Commander Hunt for Cobra Commander 2-pack. Uh, mainly, I really just wanted the Cobra Commander. Shipwreck was okay. Then, uh, this one. Gung-Ho and Cobra Shadow Guard, the uh, Marine Devastation 2-pack. Uh, this is pretty neat. Uh, this is the black version of the Crimson Guard. He's his the type of blue they use. I was actually surprised that it's a little bit bright, bright blue. Oh well, still good. It's a gung ho figure. And finally, the one I was really most interested in is the Spirit Iron Knife and Storm Shadow Classic Clash Two Pack. Man, I'm so excited for this. Not sure if I'm going to review these sets. Uh, might just keep them MOC. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, put that there. All right, some Marvel stuff. Uh, again, from Singapore, my wife was very kind enough to go through Toys R Us and get some stuff for me. The Ant-Man and Anthony set. Uh, yeah, I know. I heard I heard terrible reviews about this particular Ant, but you know, I love the movie. We'll see. I will definitely review this. Definitely. So we'll put Anthony and uh, Scott over there. Uh, Something I picked up, and again, my favorite, not my favorite, my go-to hobby shop for action figures, Marvel, Star Wars, Kramer, Toy Warden. They just got their uh, Marvel Legends Hulkbuster wave of figures. We got Marvel's Blizzard. We got the Marvel's War Machine. Man, Kramer doing their doing a really good job of getting these things early. The Marvel Now Iron Man in black and gold. Local retail doesn't even have these things yet. And uh, man, so if you're in Manila, you're hunting down action figures, go to Kramer Toy Ward in, in Green Hills. They got a ton of awesome, awesome stuff. 
Uh, Fearless Defenders, Thundra. Fearless Defenders, Valkyrie. Man, that's a great looking figure. I can't wait to bust these things out. Um, we got Vision. Comic book series Vision. This is the latest one, I think, from the Avengers AI comic book. And a more modern Doctor Strange, Stephen Strange. Now, if you've been reading up on Secret Wars, the latest Secret Wars, man, can't wait to get those things open. Uh, from another hobby shop called Big Boys Toys, I was able to pick up this one. We don't have Walgreens here in Manila, but the, the a local hobby shop was able to get these early. The Black Ant, Ant-Man Marvel Legends. Very, very interesting. I wasn't sure I was going to get this figure, but I saw it. Damn, it looked good. All right. Uh, last thing for Marvel, we have the this one I picked up again another local hobby shop. The Marvel Legends three pack Ultron, Hulk, and Vision. Man, this thing is pretty cool. I wasn't sure I was gonna pick it up, but it looks awesome. I uh, will do a review definitely of this one. All right, that's the action figures. Now let's go for some Transformers. Something I got on clearance. The uh, Decepticon Replicator Creo Transformer set. Mainly I wanted to get it because of Nemesis Prime and this guy, Stinger. Pretty neat, 40% off. Now, again, I'm not big into KO, but a friend of mine went to a local Chinatown called Divisoria where I, where he got the um, um, the, the, the Her Hercules KO. And he picked up something interesting. This is a black version of the Evasion Mode Optimus Prime that had die-cast parts, metal parts. I was very curious to find out what, what it was, so decided to have him pick me up one. I will definitely do a review of this one, uh, just to find out what the die-cast part is all about. Um, got another one. Uh, last two bits I, I, I'm going to show you guys is, again, from a local hobby shop called Great Toys Online. I was able to pick up the... Platinum Edition G1 Trypticon. Man, I was so excited about this one. I never had it as a kid. Just had to get it now. And finally, 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 my wife, again, from Singapore, very gracious enough, very kind enough to lug this big guy all the way from Singapore to Manila, the Hasbro version of the Combiner Wars Devastator. Man, am I excited to get this. I will be getting the San Diego Comic Con soon from uh, our toys, but... Uh, I will definitely be doing a review of this one. Awesome, awesome stuff. Thanks to my my awesome, loving wife. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.